everyone, this is Glenn Irvin again, and this is episode numero tres, number three of Deck Toys. And in this episode, what we're going to talk about is how to go ahead and change this background to make it look more game-like. We're also going to talk about the breakout EDU type of game locks that are included as part of Deck Toys. And you can use them in combination with things that are happening in real life or things that are happening within the Deck Toys activities that you decide to create. It's totally up to you. Then once you create something, how do you go about sharing it? And then I'm also going to show you in this video how to embed uh, deck toys inside of one of my favorite uh, LMSs, which is Schoology. So let's first start off with the background. Super easy to go about changing it. And down at the bottom of the deck toys when we're doing the deck builder, bottom left we see edit background. So we're just going to click that. And then it's going to take us to the edit background type screen. And up at the top, it's giving us several different options. So some of the options that you have right away are, we can click this little image here, and it gives us different background colors. For example, this gray, or this yellow, uh, or this red here. And if you don't like something, you just press undo until you get back to the point that, you, uh, that you're happy with. I'm just going to choose white for right now. Uh, there are also these types of maps that are available here, which kind of gave me some ideas. I create some uh, maps that my students work on within uh, Google Slides. So I'm actually going to end up importing an image here then too. But if you check out these little maps here, they kind of remind you of uh, platform gamer worlds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Uh, there's a, quite a few different ones. Let's look at that white one right there. And you could set up your deck toys activities to kind of fall on each one of these uh, kind of parts of the map. It's a good way of being able to think about it. So you can choose the ones that are available there that they have for you there. You can choose an actual shape and then create one on there. Over here we have some different kind of just generic images that you can throw onto your deck toys. Uh, a little tree, a sun to kind of decorate the different areas. Uh, there's also some different uh, other types of images here which can uh, remind me, especially some of these right here, remind me of a breakout kind of activity. So if you threw one of these kind of locks in here, and then you can go ahead and move it around to wherever you want. So it reminds a student, oh, I'm headed to a locked area right here. So that's, those are pretty cool. This one's right here under the little uh, deck toys image here. So you can choose one of those. Uh, you can also type some kind of text within there. So you can say, hey, I, I'm going to type something within here. Uh, and the one that I'm going to choose is actually called an image picker. And I'm just going to upload an image that I already made inside of Canva. And I think it's right here. And it's just basically my, uh, my Mission 6 Spanish 1 page. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Uh, and then select that. And then we should be good here. Mission says background. I'm going to press open. And it's going to throw it there into the background and we'll see how it actually goes ahead and looks. Uh, once I have that set up, then let's go ahead and talk about the locks that we can go ahead and set up within uh, inside of breakouts or inside of uh, deck toys here. I'm just going to make this kind of big here. I can increase the image size as you can see here and then kind of put the mission says right there. Perfect. I'm going to say save and exit uh, the background editor. So now I have that all set up. It looks a little bit better. I think it looks a little cleaner. It looks interesting. We have something in the background that tells us what we're actually doing. So in the last video, we created all of these uh, different types of activities. We talked about the presentation kind of things. And I also went in there this time. I'm not sure if I talked about this, but I'll just show you really quick. You can change the little pin colors there by just clicking right here on this little uh, drop down menu and then selecting the pin colors right here to whichever one that you like. And I just choose a variety of different ones just to keep it fresh. So now I'm gonna share with you the really cool part about deck toys. And this is element. You can add with any of these types of activities here. And I'm just going to choose this one right here where it actually talks about a slide with questions. I'll throw it right in here. And what we're gonna talk about here is being able to, it's not cooperating with me right now, being able to set an activity lock. And why would you want to actually go ahead and do that? This actually emulates 
things that would happen in a breakout uh, type of activity, a breakout EDU activity. So you can put in a hint or a question, so something like solve the following problem, you know, like in a math problem. And then maybe you would say, hey, you have to put it, you have to solve this problem. Uh, and then you have to type in a specific number. So let's say they chose the number 356, okay? And then you could press save, and then now, in order to open up this activity, they would have to type in 356. The uh, types of things are limitless, because there's text in here, uh, and it says not case sensitive. There are numbers here, and on the others, there's uh, the really cool one is this directional type of lock, okay? Uh, and then there's other things like to prevent students from they have to complete a certain number of activities in order to move on to a different one. But really we have text, numbers, and in kind of this directional pad depending upon what you want to go ahead and do. I'm going to just keep that 356 one here, solve the following problem. And then when a student when a student clicks on one of these, so for example this one down here, I think it's the one that's actually working here. We'll go ahead and click it. It says solve the number puzzle. And then they would have to actually be able to type in that specific number in order to move on. And you can just set up puzzles if you wanted to, uh, or, or these locks in there, so that uh, you could create these breakout EDU kind of activities. When you are ready, you're going to want to be able to share this or be able to post this somewhere. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. You do that by going up here to the top right hand corner and we're looking at the gear icon and there's two types of uh, sharing here that, that uh, it's describing. One of them says assign to classroom. You can actually build yourself or create a classroom inside of deck toys. I'm not going to show you that one right now because you probably already have a place where you want to share these. So for example, your LMS. So I'm just going to click share. And then it's going to say, hey, please tell me about this lesson plan. And so you could fill those information out so you can share it with other people too. And a couple of different things you can do. Right here we have a link that we can go ahead and share. Uh, just post the link. They click it. They get the deck toys out here. Or down here we have an embed code. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then let's go out to Schoology, and here's a deck toys embed example. And all I'm going to do is create an uh, assignment, and then I'm going to switch this over to HTML. And all I did is switch it over here on the right hand side, and I'm just going to paste um, the embed code right into there. And then I'm going to press create. I think I have to choose one of these categories, and then I'm going to press create. And then we're going to take a look at it and see what it actually looks like deck toys embed example and then we should have the sample lesson appears all within Schoology so that's a fantastic way of being able to do it and the students don't even have to jump out uh, to another link or those kinds of things they can do it all within Schoology a lot of information there hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions let me know adios hasta la vista